Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR for the month of March. <laughs> This will probably be posted a little late uh, because I've been late with everything lately, late, lately, but I did want to talk about the books that I plan to read in March and just kind of give you guys a quick overview and if this gets posted in March, great. If not, yeah, then I guess it's pointless. The first book that we're going to talk about is a selection from my top tier patrons. Each month they get put into a drawing and one of them gets to pick a book from my physical TBR for me to read and review on Patreon. And this month it was once again Kate's turn to pick a book and she picked These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I don't know a whole lot about this other than that it is a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in Shanghai. Uh, Romeo and Juliet is not my jam. Uh, but I have heard a lot about this book and I am pretty excited to read it. I may not have picked it up as early if Kate hadn't pushed me to do so. This is also, I believe, the Outgrade edition, so excited to get to this and see if I like it. If you want more information on Patreon, it is linked in the description box down below and I will link Kate down there as well. And also because we're talking about Patreon, every month we pick a group book. And this month we'll be reading A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. This is a book that follows, I can't remember their names, Malik and Karina. So this book follows Malik who with his sisters is trying to travel into this town in order to have like a safer life for them and entering into the, the city his youngest sister is taken. And in order for him to get his sister back he has to, he makes a deal to kill the crown princess. Karina is trying to, I believe, bring back her mother. And in order to bring back her mother, she has to give them the heart of a king. So she plans to marry somebody to make them king to steal their heart. And she runs a contest. And so Malik enters the contest in order to get close enough to her to kill her. It's one of those. Very interested to see how this one goes. Also this year I am taking part in the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. I will link one of the host's announcement videos in the description box below. It's a huge event that you can join in at any time. You don't have to have been working at it all year to join in. You can join in whenever. Uh, basically we're reading group books every month. There are some challenges. We're doing a group watch along of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in order from uh, publication, no, chronological order, not release date but chronological order and we're also doing like some challenge battles and there's a whole lot of things involved in it but you could definitely join in at any time. This month's group book is Sanctuary by Karen Licks. This book follows Kenzie who it's a sci-fi set in the future and Kenzie is like a junior guard on this prison where they hold empowered teenagers and her mother and father are guards there and I think there's like maybe three other guards there as well. There's like some things going on in her personal life and there's like a jailbreak and then she has to decide which side of the society issues she falls upon. It's just a whole lot. Um, I've actually already read this one because this is like I read it the first two days of the month and this is after the first two days of the month. So Sanctuary. Also another group read will be Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I am participating in J.D. Ray Reads Witchlands Along, which I will link the announcement video for down below. Basically we're just reading a book of the Witchlands every month up until the release of the newest book, Witch Shadow, which comes out in late June and we'll actually be reading that in July, but it's fine. Um, I've read this series before. I've read all of the books at least twice. This one I think I've read four times maybe. It's one of my favorite series of all time. I absolutely love it. There are so many things that I pick up on it every time I read it. If you don't know and you've been on the channel before, you I don't know how, but if you don't know what the series is about, it follows Safi and Nizult who are thread sisters, which just basically means that they're best friends who are like best friends. Uh, they're soulmates. And Izult is part of a clan of people who are looked down upon among most other people. She's very much an outlier of the world that they live in and Safi is a domna which is kind of like let's say a countess maybe. 
um, and she has basically wanted to live her whole life trying to not live up to what these other people want from her and she's basically been trained to fight she's been trained in languages she's been trained in a bunch of different things and she's also a truth witch and a truth witch is something that basically can tell when someone is telling the truth or a lie and it is a very sought after witchery and no one knows that Safi's a truth witch other than those closest to her. They did not register her, which makes her a heretic, which makes her uh, basically an outlaw, even though most people don't know that at the beginning of the story. And basically it's just them going on an adventure and there's sea battles and land battles and all the battles and a lot of backstory and history and some fantastic world building and a bunch of things that tie together and some romance and Again, it's one of my favorite series of all time, so like, I could talk about this for days, but I'm not gonna. And then the last book we're going to talk about today is the March and April pick for the AuthorTube Chat Book Club, and that is One of Us is Line by Karen M. McManus. Uh, Kate picked this one. This was Kate's pick. We'll be discussing this at the end of April on our live show, so you have two months to read it if you want to join in and read this with us. I know that this is like a super popular mystery YA thriller mystery. I don't think it's a thriller. I would say mystery. It follows kind of like a setup of The Breakfast Club. There's five characters and it's very breakfast clubby and they all are sent to detention but one of them doesn't make it out alive and so these four kids are the suspect of the murder of this fifth student and the book follows them going through trying to figure out who actually uh, which one of them is the killer. So so these are five of the books that I will for sure be reading in March. I'm sure there will be more than this, but these are the ones that for sure will be getting read. If you've read any of these before and you would like to discuss them, if you know ones that I should prioritize or things that I need to look out for while I'm reading them, please let me know that in the comments down below. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos every once in a while. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh, 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 ooh.